Okay, uh, solving Advent of Code 2018, continuing task 16 for us. Hopefully, it's not that hard like it was like the last time when we spent six six hours and we only have 11 percent of charge we are charging but it's not like i'm charging through usbc and so it's not full power probably something like that okay uh let's 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 read it as you see, the elf defends their hot chocolate successfully. You go back to falling through time. This is going to become a problem. If you are going to return to your own time, you need to understand how the device of your wrist works. You have a little while before you reach your next destination. And with a bit of trial and error, you manage to pull up a programming manual of... Let me make sure, you know what, let me... No, no, it's okay. According to the manual, uh, the device has four registers. Uh, this can be moved by instructions containing one of 16 opcodes. Okay. So we are writing an assembler. Oh my god. I hated the, like, the instructions as longer than input. But, uh, so our input is... Wait, do we need to figure out what, the inst what instructions do? Oh, that would be interesting actually. Every instruction consists of four values, an opcode, two inputs named A and B, and an output named C, in that order. The opcode specifies the behavior of the instruction and how the inputs are interpreted. The output C is always treated as a register. Okay, in, in the opcode descriptions below, if something says value A, it means to take the number given A as A literary. This is also called an immediate value. If something says register A, it means to use the number given as A to read from or write to the register with that number. Um, okay. So if the opcode ADDI adds register A and value B, storing the result in register C, and the instruction ADDI073 is encountered, it would add 7 to the value contained by register 0 and store the sum in register 3. Never modify register. Okay. Many of course are similar except for how they interpret the arguments. Our codes fall into seven general categories. Addition ADDR add register stores in the register C the result of A increased R register B. ADDI add immediate. Okay. Uh, multiplication, multiply, multiply immediate, yeah, bitwise and bitwise or assignment, set register, copy the contents of register A into register C, input B is ignored, set immediate, stores value A into register C, input B is ignored, okay, yeah, fine by me so far, greater than, uh, set is to 1, otherwise set to 0, or Greater than immediate register. Register, register, okay. And immediate register reg equal. So greater or equal, okay. Unfortunately, while, and we have assignment, we have or and blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, while the manual gives a name for each of code, it doesn't seem to indicate the number. However, you can monitor the CPU to see the contents of the register before and after instructions are executed to try to work them out. Each shop code has a number from 0 through 15, but the manual doesn't say which is which. Okay. Oh, fuck. God. Um, for example, yeah, I'm concerned with this power situation, but hopefully it's okay. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, yeah, doesn't seem to indicate the number. For example, suppose you capture the following sample before 3211, after 3221. Um, uh, what is this? Ah, this is this is a state of the register, and this is our up code, right? And basically, what we change is we change register three which has probably number two, so this is C number two, right? 
and we increase by one. So it might be like add immediate to the yeah, basically add immediate to the same register because we read from C right from third from register two and we write the register two like in the one one. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, or yeah, just basically. Uh, before instruction executed, register blah blah blah. Instruction itself means of code nine was a b and c equals two. Code would be any of, but only three of them behave in a way that would cause the result shown in the sample. Mult error register two has a value. Yeah, that makes sense. Add immediate as we identified, and also set immediate. No set set. I what is set I stores value A into register C, but basically it's it signs. Ah, this is the value and this is where to put it, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. None of the upcodes produce the result captured. None of the other codes. Yeah, that makes sense. You collect many of the samples, the first section of your puzzle input. You, the manual also includes a small test program, the second section of your puzzle input. You can ignore it for now. Ignoring the upcode numbers, how many samples in your puzzle input behave like three or more opcodes? Okay. And this is our input. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of. It makes sense. So we. But where is oh this is a program right? I don't even fucking have a okay. So <laughs> we have to split this somehow, and then parse like the samples before command and after. But it's all right and doesn't seem that hard. A little bit. It, it seems pretty, pretty all right. Nothing super complex, I think. And the second part is probably like uh, figure out, like, and execute this program. Uh, and right now, uh, what we have, um, we have, we take each one individually, like we, we look at each one in separation and figure out how many instructions it might fit, right? And then we probably need to unify all of those and then run a program. So I'm guessing what part two is. Okay, uh, let me grab some tea and we will start solving it. Let me write it back to solving 2018 in 5 minutes. Okay, I'm going to grab something.
Okay. I know what to do. I also, I also probably fixed uh, the focus on the camera. It was using um, point focus. And the point was like to here on this picture. So when I moved like that, I was out of focus. When I moved like that, I was in focus. Uh, now it's an area and it's doing a much better job, I think. Um, okay, so yeah, don't see that. Uh, I know what to do, surprisingly. Surprisingly, right? Uh, let's, it's, it's actually a pretty easy task. Uh, day 16. You know what? Let's call it part one. I never use it because uh, I, for some reason I consider it cheating, but how is it cheating, right? Who cares? We can just do that. <laughs> and do like from here to the end. I guess the result is two files. This is not cheating. All right. Okay, uh, let's go and copy this template. Template. Not need those, by the way. I forgot to remove those. Oh my god. But yeah, I don't need those. D4, D3, let's say D2, D1, yeah, yeah, the code is becoming more and more. So day one was tiny, day two was a little bit bigger, uh, day three is slightly bigger still, day four is the five, yeah, they are becoming bigger and bigger. Okay, so what we are going to do is create new file. Insert this is the eighteen, the sixteen profiler. I don't know. Maybe we'll need it. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Um, eighteen, the sixteen, part one, um, part one, input. Let's call it input one, actually. Solve, we don't need that. For now, I don't have any solve. This is to check for the uh, 16, that's your G. Parse went, yes, of course, parse went is not something we consider. Okay, so this is our parse, 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 parse one, parse part one. Yeah, let's call it parse part one, whatever. Uh, but uh, actually what we do is we take those, okay, let me see. This is what we want, right? So, what we're going to do is we are going to actually use a function called reseek. And this function is what it does is it finds you Okay, so what we care is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh parse. Well, actually, you know what? We don't need the f this is a function. Actually, we can just store it like that. Um, 
Yeah, we don't need this separate function. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't know what. So now it's empty sequence. Why? Because of probably, well, first of all, certainly because of those, right? Yeah, part one is just part one. There's no input for part one. Okay, so now it is parse parse example and example is result of this re seek right no nah let's make it Okay, so this is what we do is, yeah, we keep let uh, and basically what we do is the same we did the last time. We, d we do that, this is becomes re find actually, right? Right. Um, so before is r0 or b0, b1, b2, b3, then we have um, op a b c e a zero a one a so a three so b in a is before and after basically and what we return is uh, before is b zero b b one b two b three um command is this And after is the same, but with A instead of B. Okay, and we parse example. Um, okay, let's see. Does it look like 14? Yeah, it looks like it worked. Okay, cool. And what we need maybe let's check that we got everything, including the last one. Yeah, we got everything. Okay, that's how you parse the input. Okay, so input is parsed. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, what? Input? Yeah, we don't care about that here as well. So input one is, uh, or yeah, let's call it input one. Input one is alright. Okay, so what we do now is just run a command. No, no, what we do next is we implement all of the operations, right? We can implement them as functions, actually. Um, yeah. Let's implement them as functions. We know their names. Let, let me copy this. Okay. And I'm going to keep it next to my file. 
So we just implement, they have uh, cool names. So what it takes is basically B0, B1, B2, and B3. No, we don't need that. We just need before and then op a b c right stores and register c is the result for in register a and register b okay so what we do is um s soc before uh b in register c so we need c C is a number of registers, so it's also an index in before, right? Basically. And what we need is well, basically we ignore op because op we don't care about op. Really. Um what we do here we take and we take a sum obviously of ends let's call them regs. and rex a and and rex b right and let's try calling it uh a d d r so let's say we have what three two one one three two one one and then command is Two one two. Okay, so basically what we are saying: take uh, register two, take register one, and store it in register two. So register two is basically two and one, and store it here. Yeah, it kind of works. And this is how we implement rest of those, right? ADDI register A and value B. So in this case, we just literally do that. Uh, then what we get is oh, basically the same, but with multiplication. More R. Um, let's multiply bitwise, bitwise and so it's ban yes it's the same but um bit bit wise and bit end yes yes okay bit end bit wise or is bore okay uh, as an assignment it also has two instances and basically says copy the contents of register a into register c input b is ignored okay and in this case stores value a in register c so it's the simplest one probably okay and then we have good tier gt ri and gt rr so gt ir Okay, it stores one in the register C if value A is greater than register B, right? So if A is greater than register B, we store one, otherwise we store zero. And here kind of the same, but instead of, you, know, you got register A and value B, right? Uh, 
if register a is greater than value b and it's the third one is all registers right okay and same for equality right we have a q e r and basically like this okay we got everything implemented all the opcodes are there 16 of them i don't know let's see yeah there are 16 of them cool um hmm. so we don't need that anymore I don't think um now what we do is well we need the names of all of those so what we do is we use multi cursor to collect all of them Then we go here. This gives us a list of functions. So what do we do? What do we do? Uh, we go over input um, one. input one okay we go over input one and um, case before command after uh, input one right we go over the over here then we say let fitting is we take list of ops all right we filter it with equals um percent before command after yes and we only leave um the question is how many samples input behave like three or more opcodes okay so when uh, bigger or equals three but we don't really need this part of like true but we can there's no meaningful things to save in here. So it says to me it's 642. Okay, let's check. That's the right answer. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we are getting into... We will solve part two. Using samples you collect, it work out the number of each of code and execute the test program. Yeah, so now we have a program, right, uh, which is basically input 2, uh, which is part 2, the 16 part 2, and we basically split We should be able to solve it before time battery runs out. I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, so what we do is we split by slash n and then each line we... What do we do with each line? Okay. 
Oh, well, we basically parse long split. Yeah, I think we can do line. Split on white space and then my pre parse long. Unable to, yes. What? String, where do you think it's string? What the f this is string, right? Link to map V. Okay, let's see. Yeah, input 2 is what we need. But uh, before we do that, we actually need to, to kind of figure out which is which, which is pretty interesting, right? So. Um, what we do is we run basically we we do reduce uh, we start with mm -hmm. So our task right now is to figure out which opcode is which uh, operation, right? So what we do is we start with input one and a map from um, from zero to fifteen. How do you make this map? Uh, <laughs> so what uh, vector percent ops Let, let's say this and I just want to see it does what it, we need it to do okay so basically what we do is uh, we start with a map where each opcode is mapped to every possible operation then we iterate and filter it out, right? So what we do is op codes. We take op codes and we take input, which input in input we actually only care about keys. So let's destructure it right here, right? So we take this. We um, This is what we need, right? Opcodes op. Actually, you know what? We can update opcodes op, right? We can update opcodes op with filter. And these are operations that are still in here. And <laughs> yeah, nah. So this is uh, this are New ops will be fill well basically this filter, right? Before command after ops. So we take ops that are left, try each of them and only leave the ones that are fitting. Mm -hmm. 
something is wrong here. Oh yeah, yeah, because yes. Okay, and let's call part two and see what we got. I thought they added something to... Random UAD update walls, giving a map. Yeah, yeah, this one, update maps, update, update walls, walls. Yeah, update, let's call uh, update walls, right. update walls part count. Mm. This is not good, actually. So what should have happened is for each of the opcode, we should have get only one possible operation, right? We didn't have that, but uh, what we have, we know what for sure what zero means, right? We don't know what, for example, 7 has two possibilities, 3 also has two possibilities. But what we can do right now is... Uh, simplify this map, right? So we, can, we know that 0 uh, has only one possibility, that means we can remove it from everywhere else. Every, every, everywhere else and see if we... Oh, this is interesting. It's not easy, but it's interesting. Uh, uh, yeah. So I, I was hoping that just doing this filtering, we will figure out like one for one, uh, which operation is which. Unfortunately, we didn't. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Like, which one has more, most possibilities? I think it's one, right? And it has 10. Um, hmm. Yeah, but no. Like, is there a lot of ones? No, no. There's a lot of ones. There are 65 examples of operation started with one, but it still has. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong date. Oh my god, I'm looking at the wrong date. Um, what I actually should be looking at is, is this. Well, there are still 59 regions with example of operation one, but doesn't clear much, right? But okay, so, but this is fun kind of, <laughs> fun in a fun kind of way. Um, so what we should run right now, okay, so let's call it, Let's call it fitting again. So this is operation that would fit the profile. And now we need to do some detective work. And uh, basically what we do is we take one key for which, which has one certain possibility, right? And we remove it from 
everywhere else. All right. This would be tricky to write, probably. It's probably going to be a loop E of If we have no ops left, we return the rest. This is pretty straightforward. But if we have, um, now we need to find a key that has Z, that has only one. Um, only one possible operation, right? How do we do that? We basically let op op a fan uh, a fence first filter Um, what we do is okay, so uh, when actually if some more uh, we do. Otherwise, we return rest. Let's call it ops because it will be ops. Right? So if we found this like that, we do recall, right? What we recall with is ops disoc op update walls update walls update walls map and a function um, remove so function um, a fan of fans remove equals op a fan percent fans, right? Okay, this is what we do, right? Uh, will it produce the result that we need? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> count not supported on this type. Okay, count is not supported somewhere. What? A queer? What, what the fuck is a queer? Okay, where do we use count? So here, okay, so, so... So we take ops, right? Ops is a map from... Let's call this ops. And this will be called going corpse prime.
Okay, let me see. We take ops filter first, right? And if we take ops as a map, so if we take filter, we will have uh, operation and its op offense, right? Op offense, uh, we count them. I don't see anything really bad. Let's uh, do this. Update pulse ops count. Let's see. Oh, wait, what? It works now? Wait, it works now? But well, it doesn't return anything, right? Well, it does something. Okay. And it kind of, oh yeah, I'm, re I'm just returning the wrong thing call. Uh, it kind of, kind of works, right? I don't know how it does not work. Count from. Ah, oh, because I'm trying. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Oh my god, yeah, so stupid. This, uh, when I was evaluating, it was wrong. Okay, it is reducing, right? So we take this, we take zero, we remove zero from here. Now seven has only one operation. We remove C7 from there and blah, blah, blah. Step by step, we reducing and we get, we are getting something cool. Okay, now, uh, with this, given this, we, we should be able to reduce input to, um, hmm. Huh. So all registers kind of start with value of zero, right? It says. So let's start with zero. And we take input two. And now what we do is regs. We have regs and we have op a b c as command. Right, and uh, what we do with that is we take ops prime. Oh, this is a function that we need to apply. We apply it to reg and to command, right? And basically, this is what regs. And this is what we get. And uh, four, eight, one. And that's the right answer. Yay! We solved it before battery ran out. Cool. Uh, this is pretty fun. This is fun. Like, uh, I don't know why, but uh, like when you get something that works as like kind of the same way computers work, it, it gets pretty fun. Hmm. I like, yeah, I like that. I like that. It's almost like you just get like closer to computer, I guess, or something. It's fun. Yeah, we actually should uh, only return first value of, of this, right? Wait, what? Uh, yeah. Yay. Cool, 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 cool. And I think it is pretty okay-ish. It's, it's pretty dense code, yes, but... Um, Yeah. 
I think it's all right. I don't think it could be it could be probably meaningfully improved here or there. But I don't know. I kind of don't want to, right? So this is what we start with. Ops. We don't need this. Let's call this fitting. And Maybe we need to insert Yeah, you can put like some names here or there like to to make it clearer, right? But in the end, at the end of the day it's it's all right, I believe. This I like uh, this one is this one is probably harder ish find op so what we take is we take ops and we say ops filter And up. We can actually simplify it uh, with sum uh, because sum uh, it filters and transforms, so it kind of little bit makes it more compact maybe I don't know we maybe need a better name here I'm not sure Uh, 
certain, right? So we find a certain in ops, we remove. I feel like we also can use a function called without. Without and basically does remove this. Why I think so is because then it's much clearer here. Basically we say yeah, it's much, much more clear. Let's see, we still run. Yeah, we still run. So certain is here, right? Then this loop, if there is no more ops. We can actually, this is not usually advisable, but we, since we know that this has a solution, we can do that, right? In normal program, you probably wouldn't, but here we know we'll get to empty ops eventually. We can maybe even now, because this is so simple, we can even maybe rewrite is, is this is reduce, right? And say, well, no, because we have two No, 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 this is all right. Um, <laughs> otherwise, we will be... No, no. Because we're iterating for two sequences and uh, reduce gets messy when you use two sequences. No. This is fine. Um, Oops, the yeah, this feels better ish i can probably leave it at that okay so uh how many percentages of eight and cool i want to do with this um basically the same we did here right let's write the main function here and we range from 14 to 17. You know what? Actually, like this. Main CLJ. Ruby. Let's see if it works. Yeah, day 15 doesn't really get us what we want. Like it, it gets us, but we should fix it a little bit to return actually, not just answer. This should return answer. Result attack answer result and here well basically we just return And like that. What was that? A soak result attack attack. Yeah, we comment this out. Let's see. Day fourteen is okay. Day fifteen is okay. Day 15, hello. 
Ali stack. Huh. I might have broken something. Why not? Yeah, because it relies on part one, right? And part one now just returns result. Oh, and, and this, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, so this is actually, here's what we need to do. This actually is solve, right? And solve returns all the same shit. And solve and it opts. This is how it should be. Solve is only called with input and opts, right? So we don't need these two forms. Okay, like this. And here, what? Yeah, it works. Cool. Uh, so we have the same format here and he in there. Uh, we switch to main here. And cool. We have day year to 18, day 16. Cool. We might also need to remove uh, the main function from all those. Because we don't need it anymore. And I kind of feel better because uh, it was strange to copy all this formatting each, each of the days. done and published did we take a look at the picture no we didn't right ah there's not much there's just some steam i suppose going up so not interesting okay but uh, uh i think it's enough for today thank you for coming i'll be publishing this all on youtube in case you want to check it out and on github uh, github is at uh, the event of code here so all of this is, um, is here to just do this here so thank you for joining um, yeah bye bye